demonstrating these brand new Kim Brennan designed henna stencils. Here's a quick peek at some of the stencils. We're going to wait for a couple of people to join. Here are some of the larger ones. As you can see online, there are two designs that come in larger sizes. So we will be showing you size comparisons of all of them. Here's our awesome henna color in both hybrid and ink. So we have your normal hand designs. And as you can see, this flashcard, when they come with a finger design, that means this stencil will come with a finger design. Alrighty, if you see a flash that does not have a finger, that means there is no finger design. That means you're going to have to invest in a whole bunch of finger designs because you can change up. Isn't it kind of cool? So right over that finger, I'm going to put on this one. This is where it's supposed to go. All right, so I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to do a little walking. So if I were you, make sure when you spray, make it a good coat because you don't want to reposition it again. And with this henna color, the cool thing about it, as you can see with this area here, it's a lot lighter versus this area that's a lot darker. You are able to create a new henna look or an older aged henna look. So I got to spray as far as I want to. Okay, now I'm gonna move this. Now she has her hand, I don't know if we wanna move her hand more like this. There we go, this is a better tip. Okay, see how it was a little bit harder for me to work that so I had her go with the limp wrist. little fingers so again just because there's holes in this line everybody's finger is not the same so you don't have to feel you're going to wrap it all the way around just enough <laughs> to get what you want and this is my very first time spraying with this Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is the tack spray. I'm just going to give it a light coat. That's it. Okay. And we're going to switch to Erica's other arm. I was not expecting that. So it has a slight tack now. Oh, great. I'm hairy. This better not tear off my arms. So see how it sticks, guys? Some of you may prefer that. But like I said, there's pros and cons when you work with tack. That is holding down. Yep. So now I'm hands free to do this. So if you like this method, you may want to get a right side and a left side. Get two stencils because you're going to have somebody who wants it on a different hand and you really want to avoid spraying makeup on that tack side because you will not clean it off. Peel it off. I'm gonna get a nice arm wax okay. here. Listen. Where's the oohs and ahs? I don't feel any tack on my skin. Nope. Feels normal. But if you but now this it retacks again. See how that is? Now her you store the stencil with the tack on it. Put them into a file fold, um, folder, just like this, this way. We're old school, we handwrite our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the little finger stencils. I would slide it through the side. It's meant to be under, what's this thing called? The nail, the nail, bed. The nail bed. And see, and then I'm gonna hold it, flip. You know, a nice little tight little squeeze like this and flip it around. And 
you can see me moving the finger. That's the beautiful thing about her hand, it does move. And then I'm gonna do the next one, same thing. I'm gonna slide it through. And squeeze it from behind, get it lined up just right. Am I squeezing you? Yes, I am a little pinch back here. But don't worry, their blood will come back. Repeat, repeat, repeat now. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. I which, want a finger too. Which one you want? The one with the tacky? Well, see, I was just about to put the tacky side down. That could be a big mistake, so keep that in mind. Someone wants a bundle prize. Not yet. We're not there yet. We will have that. Pretty much the tack is already kind of dissipated from the stencil even. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Little crooked, but he moved. And some of them are displayed on a flashcard. This is more of a body. You see the back? This is where the neck is. This is the spine. So this shows you that some of the henna stencils can be put onto a back or on the front chest. I have baby hands. Keep that in mind. <laughs> 